Remote play together! Hey there everyone, this is Alcow playing Rayman Legends and today I think is going to be an all Origins day, so uh... Ditto, it's safe for you to look away I guess. I'm sorry, I just, I just think these days are gonna happen. I was trying to complete this one yesterday, but you know, I cannot. Um, this one I think has the most levels available to me. Let's find out to unlock or not. Really, what did I think then? So is it just so it's just two here that I have left? Okay, all right. In the food zone, we got in the kitchen and we got like a little slice of lemon that we could see. Oh, and then two more afterwards. I don't know. I I'm not sure what's gonna happen today then. But let's just go dragon soup. I remember that little name. I do wonder, like I've been wondering this morning, if the correct way to play this game, maybe, would have been to do like all of the new stuff and then like tackle the entirety of Origins, uh, like some kind of post game, but I don't know, like that just doesn't seem like the way to go either. There's like no real way to go. And that's sort of like my problem, I think, with this game in general now. Like, if you had to ask me how I felt about Rayman Legends at some point during this series, I would, without any hesitation, declare it one of the best games ever made ever. But the way things are organized are making me reconsider this, which is wild. I do wonder if, um, like, like, I don't know why they made the game so chaotic, basically. Like, I don't know if they thought that'd be more appealing to a casual crowd? But like, let's say I played this game when I was a kid or something, right? Before, to me, doing things systematically was, like, super important. I still wanted to do things in a systematic way. Like, I would have much preferred to have more of a linear experience. I don't know, I just, I wonder... Like, they want you to hop around and jump around and explore, and I respect that. And I respect the fact that, you know, they made a game that's paced a bit more different, in a way that's not made for me. And, like, that's fine, I have no problem with that. Whoa, why are you not being shot, buddy? Um, buddy? Well, something's clearly working correctly. Um, what if I get hurt? Right, okay, now we ragged to something at least. See, you just get shot normally, and you just get shot normally. Alright, I don't know what happened. Uh, something just broke, you know? Sometimes you just want to be invincible. You find a white panel, you duck on it for a few seconds, and then you become intangible to the world around you, and... You know what, you're allowed to do that, but, I mean, some people are gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain about that sausage having fun to fire, though. Like, it is living its best life. I'm not gonna get in the way of that. Alright, well, oh, that loom is fine. I have been taught to just not caring about looms all that much. Like, I care about them and then I get them. But I do not get worried about not getting them in the good order, or like getting all of them. It is a completely meaningless worry, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, fire paste, I love the idea. Alright, we're here now, popping here, jumping down, getting these things, open up that, bumping on this. Just all the verbs you can think of. Rescue a man, whoa, you were behind the curtain. Unbelievable. Curtain of chili. As you do. Whoa! There you go, big old bean. I think it's a big bean. I don't think it's meat. Kinda gives me meaty vibes a little bit. Meat bean, you know, it's a bean full of meat. For all your meat based product necessaries. There's clearly something up here. Also known as a door. I mean, like, that was, was pretty obvious. Well, I kinda vaguely remember this, maybe. Yeah, these big old, like, stompy lands. Whoa. It does a clank. That's right. Are you in a clanking? Yeah, of course you are. You would be. Naturally. Alright, so... Uh-huh. Uh hmm. Alright, so jump here. And I guess I'm supposed to meet the other one, and it's just... Eh. 
There we go. All right. Uh, what, 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 what? All right, we're gonna take our time. Yeah, my angle is just kind of like vaguely bad. There we go. Rescued you of your mortal coil. Whoa, I landed on it. Yeah. Okay, I might just get died here, and you know if it does, so be it, I guess. Look, Kang, it's fine. I'm gonna be. That fire has a hitbox. Let it be known. Alright, so wait for the fire to burn. Or, like, at least be very sure to hit him from the back. Because, yeah, not fire, you know? It's. I'm so used to hitboxes being pretty generous in my favor. But that's fine. Totally understandable. Here we go. We're small now. We got this string of little guy. And that guy's free. And so is that pie. Well, there we go, doing jumps everywhere. Destroy the back base, troll man despair. There we go, because I want that, no? So, what are the rules again for dashing when tiny? Wah! I don't know, maybe it's just a timing thing? Well, I'm just gonna die here. Wait, did I get the... Okay, and I think I just got the heart this time. Without... No, it's... Here. Like, why? Eh. How do you get that? I really am insisting on this, apparently. There you go. Not difficult at all. But it's kind of vaguely weird. Oh, these guys are just running underneath. What are you doing underneath, y'all? Like, oh, well, alright. I guess I'm just letting you guys play. See, at some point, I'm going to be too casual with too many of these, and... They are just gonna run run away with it. Like I'm, they're just gonna be gone. All right, buddy. Yeah, you need to get on strong when you're small. Here we go. Whoa! You know what? That's fair. All right. There's a buddy up there. I'm gonna get you. Hey, look at that. That guy tried to stop me, giving me a platform. What a ridiculous obstacle. All right. Here we go. Yeah, that's right. Get this. And then we see that shaggy little flower there. Plant. And spoons for you, your consideration. Uh, uh, you, I didn't, you didn't let me dash up. Why not? Oh wait, you didn't save this. All right, spoon platforming. There we go. This time it went a lot better. Got you up there. I'm getting a little bit worried now about my looms a little bit. I think I might have been a bit. Too, can't, the guy surprised me with his appearance. Eh. Because, let's see, there's one more. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get some. Alright, let's do that. No, 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 no. Like, there has to be a better way, but that's how that ended up happening. Alright. So this one's gonna be a lot easier, because there's a wall here, so I can just do that all day long. Alright, you know what, that's fine. Oh, oh, I missed, okay, mm, am I gonna be enough? Am I gonna, be? I think I'm gonna be okay. But we're not even at the end yet, so all right, never mind. All right, whoa, you shake, cause you're Pepper. I get it. Oh, how do you get all of you? I don't know. You shake because you're Pepper. These are gonna fall. They shake because they're Pepper. All right, oh, that's right. It's the old laser thing, and there's a string. Lasers and strings. String on the laser. All right, okay. I, I see. No issues. Never be worried. Uh-oh. I, yeah, that was just terrible timing on my end. Like, but I didn't expect there to be just a fire plume there suddenly. Like, look at that. It's just because I was ridiculously slow, I guess. All right, look at that. Can hang out here and not get any of these. Oh man, finally. My chance to miss out on stuff. Go, there's Sleepy Pepper Man. He's having his bath, enjoying himself. Uh, okay, that was embarrassing. Here we go. You're not dead yet. I gotta do that, but then you gotta jump out. And I'm tiny. Look at that. I'm your guys' size. Yeah, I feel like I played that. But the game is nonetheless rewarding me. In I don't know, maybe it's because I played these before or something. 
I'm having trouble sensing the difficulty curve. Like, what is happening difficulty-wise? I'm not sure. I beat a level, and you know, I just, I just kind of went through it, and then, whoa, in the dark. And then you kind of go up and down a little bit. Be surprised. That was three skulls. That's a lot of them. There's multiple furnaces in the background. If you're a little bit cold, they're coming in, hang out here. Alright, now we're gonna go to cool off and fickle fruit factory. Bob. Alright, I need to get that. I did it. I got it. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, slide and surfing. Alright, so. Out of the cold and into the pan. Pretty lights. Whoa! Garbage can. Alright, get out of here, radish man. Gonna jump here and get my reward. Yeah! How do you get up there to that guy? Well, you do a little something called doing all of this for a single guy. That seems worth it. it totally... I'm not even gonna get him because now I'm... Okay. I I did. Eyeballs! That guy just fell. Ridiculous. Right, I rescued a man I didn't even know was there. Then I touch a little bit of cloud and cloud computing joke. Is there something down here? Like, uh, see, I saw like that archway in the ice. I thought, oh, there's probably a door here. There was not. And we're back. All right, I took a hit somewhere, but I rescued this man. So it's all the same. With a very bad definition of same. All right, just gonna free you here, little radish. There we go, go in this circle, get most of them. Then we're gonna run up to the wall, and whoa, you know, see, yeah, ooh, there's the, we gotta make sure you get more big, though. This is such a nice place. Ice is such a nice look. Oh, I wanted to get that guy. There we go, I managed to get, yeah, it was, uh, dang it. That was not foreground. Uh, all right, do that again. Hit you. You know what? Maybe if we stayed up here. There we go. Showed him what for. Mighty leap somewhere. Is it weird? I feel like I don't recognize this. I mean, it's not the most recognizable segment of the game, to be fair. You know, it's the place. Whoa, he didn't float. Alright, so this time, like, take your time. There you go. I did it. I solved the puzzle of don't jump in a pit all day long. You know, sometimes are days where, I don't know, things just don't click as much, it looks like, and this could just be one of those days, and that's fine. You're still here, and now you're rescued. Uh, all right, look at that, you get here, then you're like, you can hit that if you want, but you're gonna return here. Uh, 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 there we go, big old jump, big old saucer, then you run here, and you're like, yeah, we did it, destruction. There's a hole there, maybe you want to go in. I'm allowed to go back in case, you know, I'm missing out on something. I can run up here though, or I can't. I guess it's too hard for a little... Oh yeah, okay, well that's what that looks like. There we go, ice balls. Everyone dies. There we go, just gonna get these. You are rescued! Destruction of the universe, it happens. Hey buddy, you're dead now. Hope you didn't have any plans. That was sad if you bring it like that, though. So don't. <laughs> Alright? Good idea. You know what? I missed out on you. That's okay. Just all this tiny, tiny platforming being swooshed around. Right. Just destroying things casually here and getting a wedge of lemon for my trouble. That's how it should be. Nice ground pound there. Dude, 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 dude. Right, where did I die the first time I died around here? I kind of lit- Oh yeah, I was trying to pounce on that lime down there, and I, I didn't even go to lime this time. There you go, dodge a lime. Don't interact with limes. That's, that's the first step in living a good life. Oh no, big lime's gonna get mad at that. Alright, Melon Heart. There we go. Best superhero this side of Cincinnati. And you get up here where someone goes, ooh, because the path basically put me here. Whoa! This bouncy little piece of greenery has some eyes. I tried to up dash, but instead nothing happened. I guess that's my life. Oh jeez. See, I'm trying to... 
up dash, and it's just not happening. But there you let me side dash all day long. Um, why would- ah! What are you doing? What are you- what is happening? Like there you just let me up dash normally and there nothing happened. All I want is... Uh, Alright, okay, but okay. Man! First time I feel... No, I don't know. It's been consistent with the day, isn't it? Like, just not happen what I want to happen. Alright, well, we're here. We're getting somewhere. Uh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. I didn't get a heart reward from His Majesty. I should, before I destroy all this down here, make sure I have the means of getting that guy up there. Yeah, here's just like all the loom and some eyeballs too. All right, time to get more bigger. There we go. Feels a little bit better. Get a few things. Slide down a little bit. I remember this part. Mighty leap. Mighty loom. How did I miss? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Too much. It matters a little bit, a little bit of mattering. All right, so now we're gonna go here. We're gonna smash down and persevere. Destroy a man, miss the pink. Ultimately, it doesn't matter all that much. That's the reality. All right, look at that though. So you get all these frost treats and and that'll corrupt your teeth. There you go, there you go. You are free, you are indeed. That's the last cage guy. I'm still gonna risk you some of these. It feels good to get them. Like, the same way it feels good to, like, get hearts and stuff. There you go. Break some mice, you know, meet some people. I got everyone. So is there anything up there? No, nope. it just looks like that's a place where you'd put someone. Alright, so you're just gonna do some deconstruction here. There you go. Goodbye, Citrus. You're the best at what you are, bouncing in place on an iceberg. <laughs> It's a very, very sought-out skill. You just, it's just like, it's the kind of skill you realize is sought out once you're into it. So it's, it's kind of a weird little career trap. Because, you know, no one's gonna put a lot of, like, time and resources getting good at that. But then, uh, you know, that's kind of like, they kind of like, why like that? Because, you know, it's sort of like job protection. If people don't know that it's sought, then they're safe because they're the only one training in that. That's so so cool though, how you can slide on your axe. That's pretty rad. I hope that I can unlock another another Origins, because there's another I don't know. I wanna play another one. Let's see what we got. Looms! Whoa! Look how excited that thing's face was. The most excited face this part of Shangri-La. Alright, we get a new origin. All right, I'm pretty happy. Where are we going at? We're go ooh, hey, we're finishing World Two. We're finishing Alternate World Two. Yeah, I re kind of remember that bird boss. So that going fast. All right, here we go. I kind of remember. Do I remember? I'm not sure. To bubble eyes, because back then we didn't kill. We just turn into bubble. All right, well, there's a queen right there. I'm just gonna, yeah! All right, hey, queen, I did it. I saved you, it was very hard. All right, so how does this work again? I remember getting hurt like that in dumb ways. Yeah, there's wind. There's a guy I can, yeah, there goes the floor. You have like a tower on you. I heard, okay, I heard you, so there you go. You're safe. All right, you do that, and that reveals your pain spot. What a ridiculous animal. All right, well, there goes the ceiling, though. Your tail is like an actual tail, like like an animal would have. <laughs> I like birds. All right, so you don't want to get aspirated, uh, vacuumed up. All right, hey, cage face. Whoa, there. Uh, there we go. Uh, oh, I don't know why you're in pain now, but you seem to have a bulbous slime on your tongue. You probably don't want that to happen. Wow, this level is tiny. Like, this is not really a level. What happened? That was a very brief encounter. <laughs> okay, then. All right. <laughs> Let's not quit. I know it's just a bomb. There's no... It's just a plant had this whole level. 
the bird is just the boss bird, and if you're lucky and just things happen around you, well, you'll be the lucky bird, and that's how you become victorious. Uh, that is Music Land uh, in its final concluding day before the fall of a mighty empire. Quite tragic indeed. And then we get booted out, but we get a trophy! Like sparklers and everything. Yeah, from the nightmares. Uh, Alright, I am rewarded with more gambling opportunities. Uh, and the end of the video. Alright, well we're loading up on origin levels for tomorrow. Not too surprising. Alright, oh, fire! Like, that's gonna be key to finishing World 3. Oh, jeez. Oh, so tomorrow's gonna be an all origins day too? Yeah, there's another fire land place area. Here's full loom package though, for your pant pocket. Just put it there and let the riches accumulate in an exaggerated, paltry way. We need to have a monster, because otherwise, like, what are we even doing? It's called Weirdio. It's a weirdo, but for the soul. Uh, how many origins do we got logged up? No, there's, because, like, so do we got, like, one, two, yeah, two to finish World 2, and then Mini Murray. You gotta be careful about that in Waterworld. And also, Loom Rewards, whoa. That's a new one. I was not ready for that. So, yeah, hey. I mean, yeah, it's go back to what I was trying to talk about. That's Wirio, obviously. Like, it's just the way this game is organized is just so strange. Like, the progress in the main game has basically become entirely static. Because I want to end with the end, and I don't know, I feel like the game discourages that. The game in promoting linearity and the way it's organized is kinda- I feel it comes at a cost. That, if you want to experience the most possible before ending it, then you end up with a weird soup, a weird spaghetti soup. Like, spaghetti is great, soup can be great. I don't know what I feel about spaghetti suit, though, you know? Wow, that was- that was a hit. 